All right, so day two of street and yeet. Day one didn't end so well. We have a plan. We're not sure if it's gonna work or not. We found a local shop that can rebuild the rear. So plan is to get it over there, see if they can get it rebuilt, get it back in the car, make the check stop, drive straight to the track, make a pass, and, and then call this day good, move on to, to uh, day three, right? So we'll, uh, we'll update you as we go, see if we can pull this off. No, that's, this yoke won't the, fit those gears. Yeah. That was where we started making phone calls last night with Mike. Yeah. They're still in this deal. They still have to go to it. That's called a big thing, and that's why you, you can't use that. You okay. don't have to. This, this is not going to work in there. That's why I was telling you they make four different pinion carriers. <clears throat> this is the big pinion. This is for drag racing. Yeah. That's what this is for. Most of the guys who run rails, things like yeah. that, who run this. Okay. It's very rare that you run these in a, a smaller car. But this is, you're not going to find them that right here. Now, that will not work with this. Okay. Because the way the carrier design is the style bearings. Yeah. The bearing that's in the back of that one is a small bearing. There's, there's no way. There's no way to get it on there. Okay. That's not going to work. You're going to need to get you another ring gear. What? This is a, three, a, two, a 389? 389. 389. And, and, and I'm okay with changing gear if I can find something local. And anything from a yeah. 345 to, you know, 410, 411. Well, it, it should have stood there. I mean, what, how big are the tires? Uh, they're 305s. Oh, shit. Oh, I brought a 1432. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Believe me, and, and, and I don't, we, don't we were fully expecting to break the transmission because it's a stock TR6060, and and that happened. That had to be just a defect in the part. I that's like that's I say, what the I've left, guy said there. I've, 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 the I've left the starting line with 1432, 14 and a half. Right. I mean, that's hard, like 5500. Run 186 mile an hour. I was leaving at I was leaving at 3200, oh and, I God, no, and I wasn't in the boost. No, no, that's yeah. Even with turbo, that, that that had to be a defective part. A lot of the guys are buying gear sets, and they're buying stuff that NASCAR runs. Okay. And what they're doing, they're cutting the back side of the gear. It's, I mean, really low, right. cutting the weight off, trying to get turning right. weight down. Which NASCAR don't hell a damn. Gasser has got more torque than NASCAR did. Right. And they're cutting it down. Well, the guys are trying to run these kind of gears because they're losing weight, trying to run them on tractor pullers or trying to pull them on drag strip and they won't live because they're, they're cutting all this down. Right. That may be what that was. Let me see. Let me walk out. I'll be right okay. back and see if I got three. This was not designed to break at the track and uh, service on the road, I can assure you. No. no. All right, guys, we just finished up here at uh, Cracker Barrel. Had a great a uh, breakfast. A Got a call from Israel Automotive. The diff is done. We're on our way back to pick it up, see if we can't get it back in the Ute and get back on the road. So stay tuned. Yeet! Yeah, 116 inch wheel base. Yeah. We've got the gate drop. Yeah. Careful, careful. Oh, this part. That's all right. Okay. It's just a vent tube. Okay. You think if he gets more practice in it, he'll run faster like oh, that? Oh yeah. You can always go faster. Uh, too high. No. That's all right. Well, well, don't worry about that bolt right this second, bud. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll be on. Jack. Going up. A little more. A little more. A little more. Whoa. All right. There's a bolt. This is this is the stuff we were talking about, guys. Yeah. Don't. We do rigged this. this up special to show you not to do this. It's actually up here for sure. This is trained professionals. Do not try this at home. That's right. All right. You got the rear bolt ready? Yep. All right. It's going to be going through somewhere about now. Boom. Now we can move the training jack. You can reposition. Yeah. You can reposition uh, it. Yeah, and I think I can shove this bolt right through by the looks of things. Boom. That goes like a little more. That's how we were leaving that off the weight reduction. <laughs> Well, that is about the, and not that it would save in any way, but that's about the only thing saving that drive shaft from going through the fuel tank. Yeah. <laughs> With those four bolts. Yeah. Bingo. Did you get her? Yeah. Okay. And then you... Mm. 
Does that mean that it was just overflowed a little bit? Yep. Yeah. I think it's like, God, you. around the block and see if it uh, vibrates real bad or yeah all right ladies and gentlemen we got her on the ground we were able to get the rear done uh, big shout out to uh, Israel Automotive in uh, Bowling Springs I believe is what it is Bowling Springs South Carolina fantastic guys me and the crew got to put back together we're gonna see if she fires off and drives <laughs> This is awesome. Uh, huge shout out to, to Mike Ford. This guy is absolutely awesome. Salt of the earth people. Brother, thank you so You're much. Welcome, man. You're welcome. Thank you. We couldn't do it without him. We needed the lift, we needed the contacts, local. Dude, this is awesome. Yep. I, don't, I don't know what to say. Well, I'll be back at the track Thursday. We'll drink a beer. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm all for it. Okay. All right, guys. So, uh, we're on the road. Had a little bit of vibration noise. We're not 100% sure what it is. We'll, we'll figure that out when we get to the track. We've got a really tight window. Uh, so, so the options were get it back up in the air and see if we can find it or put the hammer down, cross our fingers and see if we make it. We opted for hammer down, cross our fingers and see if we make it. As you can see what the hat says, you kind of see where, where our mindset is. So to see if we can't uh, make it to this next track get at least one pass in so we're not disqualified from everything. We don't stand a snowball's chance in hell of winning anyway, but this is all about the chase, right? So, car held up. Not sure what the uh, rattling is. It almost feels like something in the front suspension. We'll have to figure that out later. We when, Once we finish up, we've got another hour and 45 minute ride back to the, to the next hotel. Uh, I've got to get down here and cut a lap real quick, so, um, Fingers crossed, whatever's in that suspension holds up until we get to the get to the hotel. We're just now making it to the drag strip. Uh, it is 4.25. Uh, drag strip closes at 5 o'clock, so you talk about cutting it down to the wire, man. We're, we're right there last minute. So fingers crossed, all this works out. We get a lap in, and, um, and we get to the hotel tonight. All right, guys. So they're gonna let me cut this lap. We're gonna we're gonna get in here and see if we can't make something happen. Hell yeah! <laughs> Jeff, where's the where's the light? Where's the light? It's up there. Okay. Well, we got at least one lap in. It wasn't pretty, but we got one lap in. Nine thirty. It's a pass. It's a pass. It'll it'll work. I'll go turn this in and call it good. <laughs> 